I understand your state has been blanketed by Thank you. smoke in recent days. Just more broadly, though, how difficult is the situation across the West Coast? How devastating are these fires? And is there any relief in sight? Right. Well, it's actually it's spread well beyond the West Coast with the smoke reaching Utah and making Salt Lake City actually the most polluted city in the world. Uh, as far as the state of California, we haven't seen anything like this. And we said that last year. That's the scary part. Last year, we said that we hadn't seen anything as devastating as these fire, uh, these wildfires. And we're early in the fire season. So things are only getting worse. Droughts are getting worse as well, thanks to climate change. And the fire season is extending. It's getting you know, extended early, into earlier and earlier months and later and later months across the country. Nicholas, I mentioned you're a Republican. I know the issue of climate change is one that's fiercely fought along partisan lines there in the States as it is right around the world. You're lobbying for more action on climate change. How have these fires affected that cause? I mean, is there still strong debate in the US about the link between climate change and extreme weather events like these fires? Yeah, the debate is... Uh, the, the debate between the link... Let's see. The, the debate about whether or not climate change is causing these issues... Uh, is is going strong. The debate about whether or not climate change is happening is pretty much settled. Uh, there was a Republican conservative climate caucus just announced and then founded in the House. Uh, it has over 70 members to date and just Republicans, and they are all dedicated to addressing climate change with conservative values placed first, meaning that free market solutions are championed rather than, uh, you know, onerous, uh, regulation-heavy responses. So Republicans are realizing that they have to come to the table on climate change for two reasons. One is to retain younger voters. They're losing, they're hemorrhaging younger voters at an alarming rate and they realize it. The second reason that they're coming to the table is because if they don't, they realize that large packages that they have no control over are going to be passed through the House and the Senate and passed into law that do not, that do not take care of the American free market and that do not take care of the people and do not address the problem. There are conservative solutions out there that beat the goals of the Paris Climate Accords easily. Uh, it's that lean into innovation and that actually spur the market forward, but they realize those solutions won't be happening unless they come to the table. So they're coming on strong. And it has been a pretty dramatic shift, hasn't it, under the Biden administration from the days of Donald Trump. Do you expect Joe Biden will be able to bring other countries, like Australia, for example, along with him when it comes to implementing those tougher emissions targets? I think if he doesn't use climate change as a political weapon, then yes. I think the biggest thing holding us back right now is that climate change has been used as a club. And it's understandable. It's a big, alarming issue that we're all very, very worried about. But when you use it as a club, the instant reaction of whoever you're talking to is to disagree. So if we don't use this as a club, as we use this as a bipartisan win, we're going to see some really cool things start to happen across the world. People are waking up, thanks to, you know, these horrific wildfires that are coming much sooner and much stronger than we thought. People are realizing that this is something we have to work together on. Now, if we stop trying to use this as an I told you so moment and use it as, as a chance to unite rather than divide, uh, we are going to see some really cool things happen. But that, that has to be Biden's attitude. That has to be Democrats' attitude as well as more and more Republicans begin joining this cause. All eyes will be on Glasgow later this year, no doubt about that. Nicholas Huey, appreciate you joining us live there from Utah. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. It's a pleasure.